Hi everyone, welcome to a uh, new vlog, a vlog I'm doing for Sticky. Hopefully you've uh, enjoyed, this should, this should be the fourth one I think. Uh, I've done a couple on Burfield, I've done a French trip with mate Damo. And uh, this one I'm hoping is going to be the best one yet. This is uh, one that's been two years in the making and we sort of plan to go on this trip, me and my mate George and Neil. We booked this trip going down to south of France to Lake Cassine last year. And it got cancelled because of Covid. So. Yeah, it was a bit of a gutter to be honest, it all went wrong. Them boys spent an absolute fortune, about two and a half grand each I think, and all the boat equipment, engines, batteries, echo sound, as you know, but all the stuff you need for a trip down to Castle. Uh, so it's quite, quite a big outlay to be honest. And they, they done that, it was about to go, and three days before he was actually going, they pulled the plug on the trip, the French government locked the country down. And yeah, it was cancelled, so so he's devastated. So we managed to hold a deposit on the room down there, and uh, we rebooked for this year. So we're off tomorrow. It's been a long time coming, like I say, a couple of years. So I get very excited. I absolutely love Cassie. I've, I've been down there. I think this will be my uh, sixth time down there now. And uh, the dream is to catch one of these Cassie monsters. I've had quite a few fish out there now, up to just over fifty pound. But I've never had one of them. The real giants, you know, so it's, it's, it's proper on my bucket list to get a proper casting big one. So, I, hopefully, what one day that, that dream will become reality. And hopefully, it'll be on, on this vlog, you know, hopefully, we can catch a couple of fish and get one of these big ones. But, uh, yeah, yeah, it's exciting times. I've got one more night at work tonight, and the boys are picking me up in the morning first thing. So, we, we'll be shooting off. I've got a real long day tomorrow. Big, big old drive, we're going somewhere else first, for a, uh, do a bit of night fishing for three nights and then we'll get on to Cassie and uh, we'll take you from there and uh, yeah I'll, I'll just show you in a sec a bit, bit of the old, uh, the old tackle involved in this. So there's three of us going in uh, Neil's van, he's got a nice big van so there's three of us going down and there should be plenty of room but just to make things easier we're sort of splitting it up for, into different sections. So yeah, this is all stuff basically for Legit, that's a box of all the spares, got spare leads, loads of spare tackle, everything you might need because you can't get no tackle shops down there. Got loads of bits in there, towels, clothes, toiletries, all the charging equipment, battery chargers, stuff, bit of water, obviously uh, three boxes of Corona because you've got to have them, a uh, suitcase full of clothes, three leisure batteries there. That's the Echo Sounder in that bucket. That's all we boating equipment, sponges, I don't know, all, all sorts of H blocks, all the bits you need for the boat. So that's stuff because we are looking at stopping off on the way down at somewhere else for a couple of nights. If it ain't too busy, we're hoping to go somewhere else. Uh, just have two or three nights where we can night fish and then we're going to get on to Cassie. So yeah, going to get that in there and uh, yeah, other stuff, life jackets, this is all my actual fishing equipment, waders, wellies, whatever. Got two engines, transducer, actually got to take two sets of rods because the first place we're going, I think you need some beefy attack, all I'm going to have me, uh, me 10 foot ESP rods for, for casting and I've got my older 13 footers for this other place. So that's that. Got the boat, bed chair, chair, and uh, yeah, all the bigger bucket of camera equipment as well. So as you say, it's quite a bit of kit, but we've tried to keep it. <laughs> it don't look it, but we're trying to keep it as light as possible. So yeah, turn that round. So yeah, very excited. Like I say, I've got to go back to work in a couple of hours, and then the boys are picking me up. I'm coming home, having a shower, and they pick me straight up, and we're going to hit it hard. Hopefully I'll sleep a bit on the way down there and uh, yeah we've got a long old drive down there, I don't know what it is, I think it's about 12 odd hours on the other side plus a couple of hours this side, so yeah, big old day tomorrow but yeah it'll be worth it, we've got, we got a, couple of, a couple of weeks down there and make the most of it and uh, recharge a bit and uh, we'll, we'll do our best to try and uh, stick some of these casting cart on this little vlog, so I'll be catching you later on. Trip is started, here's the start of the show, hey. Denny Low Dog. <laughs> Mm. Here's the mighty Pedos. <laughs> <laughs> and we're starting in Mackie D's. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Cassidy, here we come. After we've got our sausage and egg McMuffins, that is. Oh, um, come, on, mate. come on, come on. Right, we're starting that and we'll do a bit of that later. 
Well, it's been a long old day, boys, hasn't it? Cheers. Nelly Long Dog has just driven. How long you driven, mate? Uh, we left our home at half four, and it's nine o'clock. Nine o'clock, and so we've had enough. We what two hours from our yeah, so we've done destination. About Sixteen hours driving, I think. Sixteen hour drive. Bless him. So yeah, we just pulled over, absolutely knackered, in one of his airs with a toilet, and we're going to kick here for a, a night and. Uh, we got two hours left in the moment we get there. What are you saying, George? Um, <laughs> come on, George. Tired, that, that we're all a bit tired. It's been a long old day, yeah, but cheers. it's cheers. all good. We're still excited. So yeah, cheers and uh, see you tomorrow. What? So we've had a pit, quick pit I don't stop, need that, mate. Some manana, manana. A few JDs and uh, what are you saying, George? George. <laughs> You're pissed buckets, yeah? yeah. You're all right? No, man, I'm <laughs> Oh, George, we're going for Eddie. What are you going to do, George? George, what are you going to do? George has had Jack Daniels or two. Mate, I'm a bit mangled, really. Look, <laughs> look, look, at, look at her. Look at that. Look at that. Look at her. Right, come on, you need to help me out of here. George, mate, you, you've got to get out of the van, mate, so. Yeah? I ain't going to get out of the van, I'm just going to sleep in here. Poor old George. Poor old. No, you can't sleep on my bed, mate. Right, George, I'm going to have to help you out, I think, aren't I? I think you might need to. Let's help him out, Neil. Help us out, Neil. Help me out, son. Neil, get a lot on George yeah, so you can get George. out. Can you have to come back? Come on, George, you boy. Come on, George. <laughs> right, I'm coming out. Come on. Come out. Don't knock over oh, my... Oh, on toes, bed -offs. Don't knock over my important bag. Fighting the Jack Daniels, George. Mate. <laughs> <laughs> you don't I'm use used to this. You're not, are you? Come on, mate. I can't take it anymore. Come on, Georgie. Put Come your on, foot, mate. foot back. Don't throw it in my bed, chair. Again. Look at her. <laughs> Look at her. Look Here we at go. her. Go on, Georgie, boy. Go on, Georgie, boy. Hey. All right, right. mate. Hey. Well, after how long have we been drunk? Well, is it 20, 20, 25 and a half hours? 25 and a half hours. Look like about 50 <laughs> hours. Then he's driven all of it and we're finally fooked. Absolutely buggered, but yeah. Beautiful sunrise coming up. A, a lovely old sunrise. The lake is a long, Whoa. long, long way down there. Yeah, lovely. Access looks a bit dicky, but yeah, I'm sure we'll work it out. Yeah. Check that out, mate. Get a lay by, get as close to it as we can. And that's opposite where. Yeah, access ain't that easy, is it? Yeah. He's got a lay by, so yes. And glad you think. Yeah, I reckon so. Because it's uh, you're on a small lake. It's got to be up here, Tina. Look, that's the point where we want to. Yeah. Must be somewhere up here. Yeah, nice no, so. Although we all need a bed, that's for sure. <laughs> well, it's, it's took a while. What's the time, Neil? About uh, 10? No, no, mate. You know what time I think it is? What time is it? Stellar o'clock, brother. Oh, stellar o'clock? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Cheers, mate. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, we've we got a plot. Me and Neil are going to come in here. Looks nice. 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Finally get here. We're knackered, but yeah, this is it. We waited a long time for this, so yeah, we're, we're both grinning like good as there. Big green tie. We're happy, boys. We've got a swim. Looks all right. George has gone up to the right up there. Looks all right and all, sir. Yeah, happy days. Got Hold a clock. Gonna do three nights here. Well, that's the plan. That's how we go. And uh, yeah, we'll keep you posted. But happy days. Mm. And I've got it. I'll, I'll say it now. If I keep saying happy days in the video, I apologise. Happy it, days! It's a bit, a bit of a bad habit of mine. <laughs> well, we finally got some rods in the drink. So it's uh, yeah, time to chill. 
lovely, very weedy out here. It's a weedy old lake, this one. But, uh, yeah, we've done the best we can. Got some half decent drops, and we will see. See what happens tonight. Hopefully, we'll see some fish, be able to pinpoint and blocks. get some on them. Hey, Nelly Dog. Yeah, what boy. You, what are you saying? Cheese Block Central. Cheese Block Central. Come on. <laughs> There's a few old big ones in here, so you never know. Nice old fish at all, so yeah. The dream is to see a 60 pounder this trip, isn't it, mate? Yeah, mate. It'd be nice to get one each, but just to see yeah, one for one, one of us would be good. So, uh, yeah, anyway, looking lovely out there. So, yeah. Please, manana, manana. please, Mr. Carp God, give us a great big fat mirror. <laughs> <laughs> morning, George. What are you saying? I have one, did not I? You've had one? <laughs> what? On your first morning? Yeah, mate. Really? <laughs> what a guy. What, what a guy. guy. Georgie B is off the mark already. There we go. How big do you reckon, mate? Maybe short, maybe a mid 30, possibly, I ain't really. Look. Whoa! Wow. Of <laughs> course, it's got some dulcer on it, isn't it? Quite a short, dumpy one. Nice. Scaly thing. Well done. All right. Nice and dark. Fatty. Nice fatty. <laughs> we'll name this one Tim Pa, I reckon. <laughs> God, he's, had, he's had a few pork pies, hasn't he? <laughs> he's had a few pork pies, mate. He's been on the old shifties, mate. Nice and dark, isn't it? It's now, yeah. Hmm. What a cracking start. Beautiful dark fish. He'll do, mate. He's nice, mate. He's a nice, nice fish. Puck a start. Oh, let's get a few picks. Mega start, mate. Well done. All right. Beautiful. Nearly as gorgeous as you, George. <laughs> hey. Lovely old sunset tonight. We've, uh, me and Nelly have had to move because there's just ridiculous amounts of drifting weed on this place and where we was, we just couldn't keep rodding the water for more than a couple of hours, we was getting wiped out. So we've moved a bit further, I don't know, about 400 yards down to the right. The weed's nowhere near as bad. And uh, yeah, we can give it a go here tonight. So uh, yeah, very nice, check that out. Little update. Not a lot, not a lot of carp happening, is there, Nelly? But uh, not much. we're on fish without a doubt. We're just having loads of trouble with the floating weed. Sort of, even though we move swims to try and get away from it, it was still a bit of a pain last night. You know, so I'll keep the rods in, but we've just spent a couple of hours clearing it. I'll spin this round and show you. See, so, yeah, the weed is a bit like that. There's weeds, there's logs, there's all sorts. And uh, yeah, it's drifted about a lot. So we just cleared all this, got in, cleared a load out, so we should be all right. And we're going to do one last night here. But yeah, to be honest, it's uh, it's lovely, isn't it, Nelly? <laughs> wonderful. Uh, wonderful. It's a bit hot, isn't it? Isn't it? It's absolutely glorious. And last night, I heard some proper kippers jumping out, you know, out uh, here somewhere. We've got a guy down there, we're hoping he's going to go today because it's a Sunday, but it doesn't look like he's going to. I think it might be half term, he's got his kids with him. So, yeah, we was hoping he's going to go give us a bit more water because we're literally fishing two rods each. We sort of squeezed in a bit where we thought we could get away with uh, getting away from this drifting weed. So, I don't know what we're going to do. If he stays put, we're still trying to maybe get three rods out each tonight, not go too far out, and uh, see how we go. But yeah, all quiet, but George see quite a few fish in front of him. He's over there this morning, so yeah, it's, it's looking all right. And if not, we should be off to uh, 
Cassie tomorrow about lunchtime. So if nothing happens, we'll catch up with you then. Right, she's low. <laughs> We're finally here. <laughs> oh my God, that is, I can't believe how low that is. Yeah, water level's super low and it's super hot. But yeah. You can't even see the water, it's so low. But yeah, it does go like that. Ooh, bit of the old south arm. Well, there was nothing to fault in the last place. George had the only bite, me and Nelly blank, blanky blanks. Hopefully, we can turn it round oh, on, on the main oh. event. But there she is. 35 years of waiting for this. That's it, mate. Lovely, lovely. It's a bad over the bridge. <laughs> yeah, we made it in one piece. <laughs> oh, Nelly, we've done Nelly. 900 odd miles already. Yeah, just over. Bosh. Bosh. Just cut back and say that. Pleasure anglers, there's the old north. There's no one fishing on any of the points. Is that one over there? It looks empty. Yeah, no, I can't see anyone over there, mate. Over there match fishing poles. Yeah, they always do. <coughs> Dead. Empty, lovely. Brilliant. Old arrived. <laughs> We're just having a bit of a salt out, aren't we, Joel? Trying to. Oh, trying to get the old salt out. Yeah. Trying to sort Nelly out. Unloading most of the van. We've got three boats and engines left, but, but yeah, as you say, we've got a bit of card as you go down here. Yeah. <laughs> Kit everywhere, Nelly, eh? <laughs> but yeah, here's our humble abode. And a nice little jeep. Stayed here before a few times. Yeah. That do us. A bit cosy. Tina's has blagged the bedroom. First three nights we're going to have a share about. But yeah, it's to do us nicely. Right, just got to get everything unpacked. Let's go to the supermarket. Get those shopping. We're hoping to get the boats pumped up. Hopefully get on the water for the first afternoon. But yeah, we'll, we'll see how we guys a lot of do. If not, it'll be our first thing in the morning. But yeah, just take you out here. Nice little balcony. And there's the old lake there. But check that out, that's at Ellis Point Plateau and I've never seen it so far out of the water. Yeah, the water's well low. Which ain't particularly good, but yeah, you've got to get on with it and make the most of it. How's your hair deck, George? <laughs> yeah, look, old George is having fun with his new toy. <laughs> it's not quite worked it out yet. You've always got some <laughs> with his video camera video. That's it, you? That's it mate. Yeah. So I just came for a look about. The water is mentally low. Yeah, that's the hot, that's the hot spot there. <laughs> but yeah, right, we didn't really have time to fish today, so we're going to have a look about by van, have a look up each arm. But this is uh, the American Beach. Never seen it quite like this. I've seen it low, but not this low. Nice motor over there. But yeah, she's. Uh, She's down, God, 20 foot, gotta be. And some. Maybe 30 foot. It probably is 30 foot, isn't it? Down in cliffs. Yeah, mate. Check out all these <laughs> everywhere. Look, that one's still in there, Neil. The whole place oh. is covered in m m yeah. shells. Right. Absolutely covered in them. Look out the south arm. Have a 
look around. But yeah, <laughs> it's right there. There's no fish over there by the looks of it. There's Gerard's up there. But yeah, we're just going to have a look here for an hour, I reckon, and uh, see if we see any fish. Start in the morning. Catch you then. L lovely time of day. Sun's just setting. And we've actually just seen our first Cassin carp jumping. Melly's going to get his rods, he mm. wants to chuck a couple out. But yeah, just out here. Not a big fish, but we've just seen four carp jump in about the last 20 minutes, so uh, yeah, it's not a bad start. But check that, gone check that out. Lovely view, lovely mountains. Look at that. First morning, now steam's rising. Just loaded the boats up. Just waiting for Georgie, he's dropped the van off. And he's ready. Hey, first day virgins. <laughs> first day virgins. <laughs> so yeah, we go for a bit of an explore today and uh, see if we can find some carp. We, we found a few yesterday, like we are saying, up uh, the South Farm, so Neil's gonna go up there. I'm gonna have a bit of a potter about. I think George is going to start in the middle, middle and uh, see how we go. Well, in exciting times, everyone's loaded. Call this shiny new kit. Look, it's a bit flat though, mate. <laughs> Sinker. Flat. Eh? Comes Nelly Dog, then we're off. We're going to split up and uh, meet up late at some point, maybe. So, there we go. Right, be lucky, boys. Well, we started off on, uh, went up the west arm, had a look, but there's a few guys up, up the top where I was looking at going, so I've come back and I've dropped on the super famous Kevin Ellis Point, but yeah, the swim is up there. <laughs> As you can see, the water's down so much. This is the plateau I'm actually fishing on, where they used to fish back in the day. But yeah, just to give you an idea, like, they talk about the old tree stumps that they cut off. That's, Go over here a little bit, but yeah, it is stumps view on here. As you can see, you got these bad boys absolutely everywhere. So yeah, not all the bottoms like this, but certain places it is. This is a particularly snaggy area, as, as you can see, looking around. Zoom in a bit. So yeah, it's a bit stumpy to say the least. Yeah, I'm probably going to do the mall in here, see how it goes. And uh, yeah, if that's see enough, I think i going to do the evening somewhere else. But yeah, that's the old Averon boat club over there. All the kids are out doing their, uh, it's a nice school day, isn't it? Going out on the old canoes for the day. But they're coming in, but yeah, as Cass said, always is, there's always something going on. Yeah, but. We'll give it a while here, and we'll catch up with you later. Well, it's about half twelve now. Yeah, weren't really feeling it where I was on Ellis, so I got a proper grade up on all three rods, taking the boats off, nibbling away in no time. So yeah, loading the boat back up, and uh, we're going to go and have a bit of a drive about and have a look up the north. But, uh, yeah, it's a bit of an handsome day. I'm going to spin this round. Yeah, I've just come from down there, obviously. Now I'm coming up into the central bit, and obviously the bridge is there. Around the left of that, you've got the, the massive null farm. See, so I'm too sure I'm going to have to see how the old batteries go, but I'm going to try, I've got two batteries with me, but I'm going to try and go a fair way up and have a look up there, I think. And I'll keep you posted. So just came around the corner under the bridge and there's the old bridge plateau sticking out the water I don't know good six foot I reckon that's an area I've done really well in the past obviously I can be catching her but for there'll be no spots this trip so it's a real start again like Cassine is sometimes it all depends on water level but when it's down it makes things very very difficult but we will do our best but yeah 
I've never seen that plateau out like that. It's miles out. To give you an idea of uh, how far it's down, there's the water level right up there, or it's down, God knows. At least 25 foot there. Afternoon people, well it's half past four in the afternoon, day one. I finally got my rods out. <laughs> yeah, just got four sticks out, been a long old day, started uh, down in Ellis, like I said, left about 12, and then come right up the end of the North Farm, up here in the barrage. Uh, quite fancy, I've seen a couple of fish, but yeah, there was a, a lower angler out here for about three hours, so I'd, I waited for him to go, no point. Uh, having any trouble with him and uh, yeah I'll just put uh, four sticks out for the important last three hours it's, it seems to be when the weather's like this and you ain't got no rain or it's not very favourable it's all about the knocking hours you know you can fish till about I think we fish till seven half seven something like that so this is the important bit so they're all out and uh, we see how we do but yeah I'm also actually be uh, fishing my first evening uh, hopefully I'll be updating you later if not I've got a bloody hell of a boat journey back past the bridge, back to Montrose Slip Road, which is probably going to take me about 50 minutes to get back. And the, the wind's picking up, blowing it straight into me. So, yeah, hopefully I'll make it back. We will see. Just turned this on. I've seen quite a few fish the last half hour. Yeah, it's the witching hour. What is it? I've got about half hour of fish. Got reeling at 10 past seven. Uh, and get on my way but it's, there's a few fish up here for sure but where they're showing just over that wind line there's a few there but that's, that's over 100 foot of water so yeah i don't think they're hitting the bottom but yeah interesting at least there's a few of that so you never know i think i've got what half hour let's have a check the time yeah, more like t 20 minutes, 20 minutes to get a bite and then, uh, yeah, got the long uh, long boat back to the van. But yeah, at least we're seeing a, a bit happening. Sorry, that's well out of our focus. <laughs> Zoom back out. But yeah, a beautiful Cassine evening for sure. Typically, they've stopped now. Oh, I'll be catching up with you tomorrow, and this thing happens in the hopefully in the next uh, 20 minutes or so. Day two, it's a little catch up. Uh, luckily, well, not luckily, yeah, fair play. Nelly nearly got one last knock, ends up in the south farm that first. Uh, Day we went and looked up uh, the south, didn't we? See a few fish go, so nearly went up on them. Have a go, and he had one yesterday, low, low 30, I think. So, yeah, happy days for him, that's great. Uh, me and George, nothing yet. We've actually come up, looked up the north farm, but we're leaving nearly to it for a bit. But yeah, I see a lot of fish up here and uh, around the barrage uh, yesterday evening. I must have said about 80 fish go, a lot of them over deep water, like I say, over 100 foot of water. But we thought it was worth another go up here, so we've come up here and we've gone on the other side. So I'll spin this round and uh, show you. So this is our swim. <laughs> bit of a ro rocky slope of death down to the old rods. It's a bit, bit of a mental one. So yeah, this is the back, this is the boys here. I fished over there yesterday and boated them ac across up to the boys on each of these ledges but I thought a day we come over here and we're just fishing in close now so still got a good 30 odd foot like, like a little uh, little cast out there so yeah see the fuel already M mostly in the out of bounds but they do come in and out so yeah, feeling pretty hopeful to be honest so yeah we've just literally cast three rods out each and uh yeah, we're going to see how it goes, but 
Lovely, lovely old drive up here in the boat this morning. Explored a few bits of the lake I've never seen before, sort of round the corner up the top of the North Farm. That was nice, looked good actually, quite fancied it, but just fall after what I see yesterday. We've got to give it another go in here, really be silly not to. So yeah, we're going to give it a day here and see what happens. So hopefully, fingers crossed, <laughs> we'll be catching up with you soon with a, a Cassine carp to show you. Snorkings. We got our first one on the trip. Not gonna bother getting him out because he's at his low 20, but cheers mate, you'll do. We're off the mark. Morning, oi oi. Cassie carp for you. Well, we're, we're a bit happy and sad after that one yesterday on the at mid 20, whatever it was and a ripper just as we put it back and lost an absolute unit so yeah sick as a pig but we got up early got back in the swim this morning and yeah rod's only been out 20 minutes and uh yeah got a little one to make up for it well it's not that little ain't weighed him but yeah <coughs> up a 20 maybe 30 up a 20 i'd say 28 29 something like that but uh yeah i think the one i lost was the size of these two put together unfortunately but yeah had a look paul had it on about eight minutes, real heavy, powerful fish. Yeah, one for the album for sure, so gutted about that, but yeah, this one makes up for it a little bit. Just lift him up and show you. You can zoom in a bit on that George if you need to. It's on the top. That'll do. Cassie Lovely carp. dark fish, mate, isn't it? Yeah. Big old pegs. Thank you very much. First one of the trip. So, yeah, it's been hard, hard cut. Max and that, of course, it ain't second one of the trip, but yeah. First one we got a picture of. Lovely. Well done, Tubbs. Thank you. Off you go, Mr. Carpy. There are pecs on him. <laughs> These pecs. Beautiful. Massive. Off you go, mate. Au revoir. Well, what you got to say about that then, mate? Hey. <laughs> I ain't going to say happy days, because that's what I always say. <laughs> I've just done it anyway. We're recording. What have we got here then? Georgie B and his first Lake Cassine carp. Are we happy? We're well happy, mate. We're well happy. Look at that. Beauty. That's a nice one. Happy days. Baby. Off she goes. <laughs> Evening people. Well, we actually managed to uh since the last update, I haven't done one for a while, but yeah, unfortunately we lost that swim up uh, in the barrage. I was doing sort of a, yeah, George had that one. I had three bites up there, I was doing a regular bites, but yeah, yeah, got gazumped by, by a couple of French fellas, so uh, lost that. So yeah, start again. I've moved into the central area, so yeah, just uh, showing you the old bridge at sundown but yeah George and Neil Neil's doing alright I don't know what he's had now he's had a few I think he's had 
four fish maybe now. So now, nah, there's plenty of fish out the south farm. He said, oh, I've never actually fished myself when we come out of this trip. I did say I wanted to go out to the south farm, try and catch a south farm carp, because I've, I've caught out the other areas of the lake, but I've never really uh, done nothing up there. But uh, yeah, there's a few people up there though, so I'm gonna leave them to it. I'll, I'm out here. This is, uh, yeah, this is it, an area. I oh, know well, so uh, yeah, we'll see what happens, but yeah, check that out, the old bridge as the sun's going down on it, absolutely fantastic, lovely place, right, hopefully we'll be showing you some more carp soon. Oh, it was tricky doing self takes out here, but yeah, we just scrap off this one, another one, another early bite, the other side's a cracker. Can't really see the video over uh, everyone getting the fishy. It's a, it's a, there's a peach. Where well, that be? Beautiful casso mirror. A white, white tips on the tail. Oh, let's lift him up. Show, show you for the video. We're happy with that one, best one to trip. Yeah, have a couple like this, uh, the trip would be made. It's a cracker. Thank you, Cassie. What are you up to, eh? Yeah, it might, might have seen one earlier, bless it, it's been quiet. But, yeah, if, if I can uh, get another one like that in the next few days, that like one earlier, I'll be an happy boy. So, yeah, all good. I think Neil's lost one today as well up in the South Farm. He's up there, that beautiful, beautiful sun on the far bank. Magic. Morning people, it's on for a little update. Well, it's coming up, it's about midday. Got here early this morning, but it seems very quiet. Where I've been the last couple of days. Nick, that lovely one, sort of made me trip. Hopefully get another one, still got about five days left. But uh, yeah, it has a really nice mirror. It's one of the best looking mirrors I've had out of here. So yeah, yeah I'm well happy with that. Uh, but things seem to have dried. There's still fish up the south farm. Neil and George have uh, been going up there every day. But yeah, the bites has sort of dried up a bit, even though they're seeing fish out there, it's dried up a bit. So I've done the moulding here, I think I'm going to go and have a little explore, maybe go and have a look at the West Arm, see if it's quiet up there, if not, go back and have a look in the North Arm. But uh, yeah, it's only place to explore, where, where it ain't, you don't feel like you're on fish, you, you just got to keep on moving about and trying to locate them, so that's what we're going to do today, we're going to have a day, do a bit of driving about and uh, yeah, try somewhere else I expect, but yeah, absolutely loving it, as you always do out here. Yeah, proper old challenge, great fishing, you know, hard work, but very rewarding when you get one. So, uh, hopefully, yeah, we'll be getting back to you later on, and uh, hopefully we can track a few of these fish down again. Like I say, there's fish up the, up the south, but uh, they're seeing them, but Neil's had four now and lost one, but the last couple of days it's, it's dried up a bit, so... Uh, yeah, I think he's going to do today, maybe tomorrow morning up there and uh, re reassess. I'm pretty sure George is going to go back where we was at the top of the barrage. It's definitely fish up there. Looks really good, but to be fair, it's really only a one-person area. You know, it's a bit, a bit tight for two. So I'm gonna, he's going to go up there, have a go, and I'm going to uh, try, try and find something elsewhere. So, uh, yeah, I'll be catching up with you later. All right, guys, we have decided to do the evening up here on third point, sort of halfway up the North Farm. Very nice up here, the North Farm. So yeah, I think I might show you before. This is what I've been using, this is what I use out all the time. Use like a heavy 44 pound fluorocarbon leader. Got big six ounce flat pair legs, I'm going to be fishing out quite long here. And a short hook length. Slip D rig, size 2 gripper, 
yeah that's it pretty simple been using the old uh, ESP 10 foot onyxes out here this trip yeah they, they seem pretty good for a cheap rod they're all right they do the job definitely but yeah I've got a bit of a uh, mapping out to do I've got a guy fishing out there so I'll wait until he's finished up hopefully in the next hour or so then get them out there for the for the evening time you know bike, bike times first thing in the mornings it's always the same it's either really early in the morning or last knockings usually so yeah as, as I'm getting them out four or five o'clock for that last couple of three hours that's, that's the important bit to be honest but yes it's uh, hot damn hot so yeah we got a bit to do but we'll get them out and uh, see what the evening brings I'll catch up with you later well morning what a good move that turned out to be yesterday uh, went off a uh, point had a bite just on dark, turned out to be a fish I've actually caught a couple of years back, low 30, so I put him back straight away, put a bit of bait out last night, come back proper early this morning, got here, I had, I had my rods out by half six, it was still well dark, and then uh, two, two bites within an hour, so yeah, I've yeah, got a nice little mirror here, and I've got a nice, uh, nice old common as well to show you, so uh, yeah, happy days, well pleased with that, it looks like uh, Found a good old zone without a doubt, so uh, yeah, happy days. Sh show you this one, pretty good mirror. Right, young one, this one. Go a nice little linear, that'll do, won't it? Just show the other side quick. Not the sun. There's the other side. Lovely. Oh. What's that coming over the hill? Is it a Nelly dog? Is it a Nelly dog? <laughs> oi oi, here comes Nelly. He's <laughs> heard about uh, the old Tim Fox action and he's, he's coming to join me. Plenty of room here. Massive old, massive old swim. Let's see, yeah, zoom back out. Beautiful, another sunny old day in the south of France, absolutely lovely. Well, best one of the trip so far. Ain't weighed it yet, but it's a good one. Up a 30, might even be a 40, not sure. But yeah, absolute banging common. Well chaff with this one. Sorry, I'm not too good on these tinners, but getting it in all right. Beautiful fish. Yeah, mate. Stunning. Right. Quite a quick one off the mark this morning as well, wasn't it? Yeah, mate. Oh, good hanging, bruv. She's a beaut. Come on, solves that all in it. And that fee. Fucking f off. I hate them fee. Excuse my French, sorry. <laughs> oh, it's flying around my head, man.
Wanna... There we go. Yeah, she's in. She's in? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, boy. Oh, the cracker, that's what it's all about. The Casso Gold. Beautiful. Do anything with the glare? Is it better if I turn it or so? Uh, Just uh, with your eyes looking at it. Yeah, no, it's pretty much the same tinners. If you turn the towel towards me a little bit, that's a bit better. Get the towel up a little bit. There we go, tennis. That wire up. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven four. Sweet. Tie up a little bit. Recorded. Yeah. Well, the early bird does it again. We get up so early, go up at five again this morning. Yeah, rods out nice and early, and yeah, had this one just as the older uh, daylight's coming, cracking. Thirty-four and a quarter. What a peach. Oi. All good. I'll go that way a little bit. That's it. Wait, cheers bruv. Happy days turn into a good old trip mate, isn't it? <laughs> yeah boy. We're, we're having a few, it's lovely. <laughs> Makes all those early mornings worth it, doesn't it? Yeah mate. Bloody hard work mate, but well worth it, look at that. Yeah, mate. Recorded? Yeah, mate. Sweet. Look at that, what a beauty. Good start to the day, mate. Don't get any better, mate. Does it? <laughs> Don't get no better. What an start. absolute belter as yeah. well, mate. What a beautiful yeah. fish. It's one of the nicest mirrors looking wise I've had out of here. It's an absolute beauty. Thank you, my darling. Off you go. Au revoir. Yeah, boy. Uh, it's about midday. Yeah, beautiful carp was folding well chuffed for that one. I showed you an absolute banger. Right result. That's why, uh, yeah. A real Bobby Dazzler, that one. Lovely fish. So, yeah. Midday now. It's hot damn hot. I can hardly see it on video because the sun's so bright, but Nelly's out there. There he is. There is the old fella. He's out looking for more spots, but yeah, it's uh, you can't believe how much it changed. It's freezing cold at night, and then now it's absolutely roasting. So yeah, let's turn this round. So yeah, we, we got full, daft, floppy sun hat on, sunglasses, flip flops and shorts, standard attire. Nice cold view on the go, and yeah, I'll just had a look for uh, yeah, the fish I've had are sort of uh, long on one of the main plateaus, 
So now I've been looking for a, a spot out to the right as well. I've been fishing in close, just casting that 120 yards out. But uh, yeah, just gone out to the drop off in 32 foot of water. Just turned round out, out that way. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that this evening. But yeah, yeah, it's a bit like that. You're waiting for a yeah, very small window. You know, but bite times either. Very, very first thing. We can get out super early, it's really paid off actually this trip, usually don't get a lot of morning bites but uh, yeah, this trip we've sort of been getting out at five, getting down and getting the rods out while it's still dark basically and uh, yeah, had a few morning bites and obviously the evening, the last hour or two is uh, is the one as well, you know, so uh, yeah, looking forward, going to redo all the rods about four o'clock for the last few hours, been giving it a bit later, you know, eight o'clock and uh, give, give yourself a good chance and uh, see how we go. But yeah, we're absolutely loving it. It's about the missus earlier. Hi, baby, if you ever watch this. Uh, yeah, love you loads and cheers for letting us do this long trip. I think it'll be the last one for sure. But yeah, yeah, hopefully we, 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 I like to come out here every year. But yeah, we've had a real long one this time. It's a bit too long, to be honest. Yeah, I think it's 17 days, but we're, we're loving it, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, darling, for letting us do this. But yeah, I won't do it quite as long next time. But it's all good. I think we've got three days left. And uh, hopefully, yeah, yeah, really happy, to be honest. You know, we've all caught. Uh, I don't know what I said, but George, he had a 37 and a half yesterday. So he's well happy. He's had three. Neil's had four. I think I've had seven. So... Yeah, that's a fair old result, really. When the water's down, when we pulled up, I was uh, very concerned. How would get on, you know? I fished it with low water. It is definitely harder. Fish is better when the water's up. But nah, now I think we've held our own. We've done all right and caught, uh, caught, caught a few nice fish each. Uh, all good. So hopefully this evening, something will happen, I'll get back to you then. Till then. Cheers all. Going to enjoy this. Nice ice cold Heineken. And uh, I'll catch up with you later. George is having a beer. Beer, mate. Celebrate. Yeah. Cold yeah. beer as well. Oh, oh, ice cold. Ice cold. Yeah. Quite nice. Right, you... boys. I had a chance to get you three. To... All you <laughs> two together. So what do you reckon this old castle in there? <laughs> Living the dream, isn't we, mate? Living the dream. Oh, look. Living sun's dream, out. Mate. Catching carp. Carp's out. Well, I'm not catching any, it's but... good, mate. It's all good. Nelly, Nelly loves it. Well, do you reckon you'll, you'll be back, Nelly, would not you? I'm coming back twice next year. I reckon I'm going to move down here, mate. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell the missus. N Nelly's moving. What about you, GB? I'll be back in the open, probably, mate. It, it, it'll be back. Look at old George. He's at that, that, old flip flop boys around here. Hey. Old, old George is keeping out the sun. The old muck boots, insulated muck boots on. Yeah. But now. Uh, uh, having a lovely time, three days left, didn't we? So uh, yeah. hopefully time for a, a cheese block. Would be nice. Well, one cheese block each would be lovely to finish it off, but we ain't complained anyway, yeah. we, we've had a good tour. What are Right, people, little update, I haven't done one for a bit. Right, I had one yesterday evening. Uh, up the top, I didn't photograph it, I didn't film it or nothing, I didn't even get out of the net, to be honest. Up, up the 20 common, so that was nice, that was just done dark. So, uh, yeah, let that one go. Got back early this morning, nothing's happened this morning. So, uh, yeah, just gone and uh, spent an hour and a half getting the rods out for bite time, all primed up, and uh, yeah, they're all out there lovely, and uh, see what happens. But yeah, it's been a, another lovely hot day. <laughs> Spoke to Missy, she said the weather's pretty pelt back at home, so yeah. Yeah, we got what two days left, so, and it'll be back and blighty. I think, uh, I think it's actually gonna start raining here Saturday, Sunday, really heavy, which is a, uh, yeah, it's nice conditions for on this lake. But to be honest, yeah, we've enjoyed it. We've had a few fish, and we've had lo loads of sun every day. So, yeah, what more? What more could you ask for? You know, it's, it's been lovely. So, yeah, I'll just spin that round. The old bridge. A couple of hours away from sunset, looking lovely. But now it's been a great trip. Everyone's well at me, you know. We've had a few now. I think I've had eight. George and Neil think I've had four each. So yeah, we're all chuffed, you know. We've had a, we had a great time, but yeah, it looks lush. There's the old uh, L vehicle. Good old boat. This had it a few years now. The Fox boat, Fox 240. Yeah, I really said nothing about this kit. 
Yeah, all the essential stuff. It's a yeah, the two fault is it's great for day fishing because obviously you've got to lug it in and out the boat every uh, in and out the van, sorry, every day. So you can, I think it's about 36 kilos. So you can just about manage it on your own, which is quite nice. Uh, obviously, life jacket, H blocks, all the essential. I use the Ray Marine Echo Sounder which for the money I think is very good you know it's got the GPS got everything on it yeah yeah it's a good bit of kit as for this engine it's a bit of a, a newish one you know everyone goes to the Minn Kotas I've had them in the past but it's a bit of a new kid on the block the as wings it's very light uh, some nice features it don't stick out so much you know when you put it in the van all the time it's uh, nice that it's only sort of 10 inches wide at the back the Minn Kotas stick out two foot and the end of here folds down like that, so it packs away real small. It's probably about a third of the weight of a Minn Kota. So yeah, good bit of kit, all the essential stuff, obviously, for out here. But yeah, yeah, that's the old vehicle. Done, done me proud again. Yeah, it's good stuff. So yeah, I'll, I'll stop boring you now. But yeah, tackle wise, I think I said before. I've been trying out these ESP Onyx, what are these, three and a quarters? Yeah, three and a quarters. I mean, sound, to be honest, they're only a cheap rod, but they've been really good. Got my trusty old emblem, 6000s. They're yeah, good. Rest of it's pretty standard English kit, so, yeah, all good. So there. I'll leave you, I'll shut up and leave you that lovely view. Happy boy, isn't it? He's had a right result this morning, aren't you, mate? Yeah, mate. Been a few days without a... I think I haven't had a bite for four days. No, I haven't had a fish for five days. I haven't had a bite for four. Lost one four days ago, so... Well happy with this morning. Uh, bit of a scarred up character, but... Really, really nice common. Well happy. Good? Yeah, mate. Oh. Happy. Yeah, mate, you're sweet. Head up slightly. That's it. The scar face or scar side. Grab this one. Well happy. Cool. Yeah, mate, it's we're all good. That, nice that one. Sling, mate. Yeah, let's turn this off. There we go, the moment of truth. Cool, she's a bigger mate. I think you've got that 40 euro bet. What's she going? 46. Hold it steady. 46, two I'd say. 46, two. That'll do, nice, no, we're well done, mate. <laughs> well done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy! Oh, we're recording, mate. Sweet. Look at that, fish of the trip. 46 pounder. What's the result? Felt like an absolute machine. Uh, I lost one not long before. It was an also an epic battle, but to be quite honest, most of them have been. Uh, what a beauty. So happy. What a trip. <sighs> right, just quickly going to say this for my next door neighbour. Well, next door neighbours, Tom, Tom and Ailey, we said we'd name a fish after their baby, well, two-year-old daughter, Alice. So, Alice, this is Alice. This Alice! One, this, is, this one's for you. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Alice. Well done, Alice. <laughs> this side's even better, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. What a Look weapon. at that indeed. Let's keep getting back a bit and get it all in. <laughs> Your hat's a bit up in the air, but that you're that bothered. <laughs> Look like a smurf. Pull me out off. 
<laughs> Starting to sound like Nick Elliot worrying about me Barnet. <laughs> Good. Yeah. There's one long, long carp, mate. A really old carp you shot. Let me get back a bit. One Ben to be proud of. <laughs> cool. Alright, so. Uh, do you want to put hammer? That is a hammer, mate. <laughs> I'll be having Heineken for breakfast today. <laughs> <laughs> What's an absolute weapon. Look at the length of it. Massive, isn't it? That's what you come for, mate. Yeah, mate. Well happy. Good Cheers. boy. Good boy. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> we <all> <laughs> Top man, well done, bro. Thank you, bro. Cheers. Hi, right, people. Well, it's pretty much wrapping up the trip now. We've got two more possible bite times. We got this evening, obviously, and we're going to come back tomorrow morning and uh, just do the morning to about 10 o'clock because, it, yeah, it's been well worth getting up early and getting down on that. I've just uh, spoken to uh, Tom at Sticky, uh, Tom Gibson. He, he said to us to do a little uh, promotion thing. If you watch this vlog, just about the bait, as you probably all know, I'm a, mass, I'm a massive advocate of the old crew active. They used it for years, but when it was in the uh, promotional stage and everything. So, uh, yeah, I'll spin this round. So, yeah, there's our old. Uh, Crew active, that's what we're using. And what Tom said is, anyone who leaves a comment, I'll turn this round again. I'm not very professional at this, you can tell. <laughs> Bit of a newcomer, this old vlogging log. But yeah, yeah, what Tom said, anyone who leaves a comment about, about, about this vlog is uh, in the bag for win winning some crew active. Uh, all you got to do is leave a comment, and he said, yeah, do, do that, and they'll pull out a winner and uh, someone will get five or 10 key in the crew active. But uh, yeah, I'll hang up for now. I've got to get the rods out. It's busy, it's about that time, about three, four o'clock, we put the rods out for the, the afternoon, you know, for that very important uh, dusk sort of period. And we'll do that, and hopefully we'll be getting back to you later. If not, we'll be up uh, super early in the morning, five o'clock, and we'll hopefully have the rods back out about, I don't know, well, yeah, we're getting them out by about, quarter past six something like that it's not actually getting light here till about eight o'clock now so you, you, you're getting a couple of hours of darkness in the morning and that's uh, doing the business at the moment as you see earlier on so yeah we'll do that tomorrow then it's uh, yeah unfortunately it's, it's been a long trip you never want to leave this place it's been great and uh, we'll, we'll be wrapping up we're going to wash all the boats out go out for a no nice meal for the last night and I think we got, uh, we're going to get up about 7 o'clock in the morning and then we've got a 15 hour drive home which, <laughs> which I'm not looking forward to at all but that's all part of Cassidy you know yes, uh, yeah, it, it's hard getting down here but yeah it, it's well worth it as you see so hopefully I'll be catching up with you soon. Well, well, I will be anyway before the end of the trip. We'll, we'll have a little wrap up and uh, we'll speak to you then. Oh, it was all right. is, it, is it running? Yep. Yeah. Well, last morning on the Great Lake, we had this one, bit of a bit of koi in it. Proper animal, lovely long fish. So yeah, that's no one there, we've had a right result, we had 20 fish between the three of us, so yeah, it's been great. Yeah, thank you Cassie once again. Spin it round. Stadley. Might have been the biggest one yet, I didn't think, didn't think it was, but... It was close. 36, 36 and a half. Sweet Right. Look at me. 
Crot roll wild animal. <laughs> Cheers, baby. Au revoir. Well, it's goodbye. It's, it's the last trip back. Just come up the old bridge again. Yeah, sad to be leaving. Looking forward to getting home, seeing the missus, family, and friends, and that. But yeah, never want to leave this place. I absolutely love it. But yeah, yeah, I've got some good weather coming in the weekend, and all got a bit of rain coming in, so I'm sure that'll shake things up a bit. But no, nah, it's been a lovely trip. Obviously, nearly had uh, the biggest one, but yeah, we've, we've all, we're all happy, so that's all that matters. Right, that's it. Just doing a bit of a uh, prep. Unfortunately, the old uh, the old girl's going away for a, a year probably till I get back out again. It's giving the old boats a good clean up. We're doing that. All the gears here, everyone's had a bit of a polish in their Raptors. There's the old two Burfield Bandits. Hey. And there's a, there's a little deed we've got to do now. We had a little uh, a little sportsman's bet at the start of the week. As always, I've lost it, which I ain't doing it no more because I lose every year. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we did the biggest fish of the week. An old Nelly dog, hey. <laughs> as you see. 46 pound, two ounces mirror. Yeah, the 46. So, yeah, 20 euros each. George hates this, by the way. <laughs> so there's my, there's my two tenors. That's going to be the best money I ever spent in us. Thank you very well much. Well done, Nelly. Well, Thank well, you. Well, well done. I ain't paying. <laughs> <laughs> I think, right, he shaped you up, so he should give you 10 pounds. <laughs> uh, yeah, that yeah, no, sounds all right, mate. <laughs> Nah. <laughs> now this is a moment, that's it, you nah. see that? <laughs> so that, loser. That, that, uh, <laughs> nah, it's been an absolutely brilliant trip, we really enjoyed ourselves. And uh, yeah, check this out. That Nelly's at me, George is at me, got a, he's got a son's hand at least. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it's been bloody lovely. So yeah, we'll pay around, this will probably be the end of the vlog. So, yeah. I'm hanging the rods out for the winter and uh, next time I'm out I'll probably be uh, doing any of this sort of lot. I'll be back on Burfield in All April. you need to do, <laughs> if anyone's out there, just send Tim Pot some kitty cat. <laughs> kitty cat, kitty cat. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, hanging the rods out for the winter but I'll be back out in April and uh, get out of Burfield. And I, I know I've got weeks on in March, I've got, I've got a little plaid up my sleeve, I'm trying to keep away from these two so uh, <laughs> yeah we might do that. But yeah, hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, till the next time. Bye now. Bye now. Joe says bye now. Bye for now. Bye for now. <laughs>